Hello and Merry December. Hi. I often struggle with trying to think of decent gifts for my friends and family and loved ones. So we thought we would share some of the gamey things that we have been absolutely loving this year. And it might give you some inspiration of things to buy for your loved ones for Christmas. Who knows? Considering the climate, financial climate, some of the things are going to be on, on a budget and we've got like different kind of variations of present giving. Stocking fillers. What's our first stocking filler? Kawaii as you call it. What is it called? <laughs> Kawaii. Kawaii. Kawaii is an adorable card game all about ice cream. Each game will last about 15 minutes. It's three to five players, so you make sure you've got those three players to play it. It's really quick yeah. paced. Because you have to like try and beat other people to snatching the correct ice yeah. cream that you want. So beware if you play this <laughs> with some people because it can get quite ah! We play with friends who are also equally as aggressive, so you know, you gotta eat, right? You gotta go first. You gotta get your ice cream. <laughs> this company also make a bunch of other similar card games, so mm. you can have a look at their whole catalogue. So our next one is Sushi Go. Our oh, tin's a little bit beaten up, but this is so much fun. Very similar to some draft games where you take a sushi and pass on your hand. Let's say you grab some dumplings. The more dumplings that you take, the more points that you get. It's super cute, and they have various different versions of this game. There's the normal Sushi Go that we have, Sushi Go Party, the Sushi Roll, roll yeah. which we all also have we introduced it to my family yeah. a while ago and they love we, it we're going to my family for christmas and they were like bring sushi go love letter i'm sure everyone has heard of this you get different varieties of love letter the first time i played love letter was lord of yeah. the rings edition so yeah. you could maybe customize in terms of like what the person you're buying for likes if they're a big lord of the rings fan that's going to be a perfect love letter to buy yeah. them group board games we have three board game suggestions in this category mm. of different levels essentially this one is the biggest and the most expensive yes. but it's so worth it everdale, everdale. Bam, bam, bam. and what do i call it i, I, I name you every board game differently everdale everlast, everlast. yeah dyslexia you know, yeah, just, it's just go through the roof. Every time, it's different, it's great. So I love the artwork for this game. It's gorgeous. Um, there's little stories between all the little rodents and whatnot. Rodents make them sound horrible. I was going to say critters. <laughs> yeah, well they are, they are critters. Rodents. Unique critters. The game starts off really, really quick and then it starts developing. So the, the progression is really, really nice. Because the further you get in, the more you are able to do in your turn because mm. you have to build up resources right at the start. Yeah. It is so fun and you get to like build the tree yeah. that a lot of the cards sit on. And it's really, really well made. The quality of the tree and all the gems that you pick up, the berries and the, the twigs, they're really well made. Yes. Villainous. Yay! Did I say it right? Yeah! <laughs> you usually say vanillous, which mm. is quite fun. Yes. We have all of them. But I picked this one out because it's got Dr. Facilia in. Who's my favourite character? Who's my favourite character? After he was my favourite character. Your favourite character, but I win a lot with him. These games you get to play as a Disney villain. Yes. Each box has a different roster of villains and we have collected them all, as James mentioned. This one has Hades from Hercules, Dr. Facilier from Princess and the Frog, yep. and Evil, Evil Queen. Queen from Snow White. You choose your villain and then you have your own little board, your realm as they call it, and you have an, an objective. objective. And you're trying really hard to, you know, scupper everyone else's plans trying to win the game. It's been our favourite board game this yeah. year, for sure. Our last one in this section is the smallest and the cheapest. I asked for it for Christmas a couple years ago. I just really wanted some new games to play. I had a look on some websites and this one looked super adorable. And then it just turned out to be a really cool game. And two to five players for such a little tiny box as well. It's really, really cool. Yeah, it's really fun and it's just really lovely. Trading card games. I'm going to recommend to all my Yu-Gi-Oh loving peoples this tin, the slab. In here you get staples that are, are reprints um, for the last couple of years. All the good stuff in here. So if you're buying for somebody who plays the game, plays Yu-Gi-Oh, this is a great present. And there's some, some good value in there as well. And you get a cool tin. And then the next Yu-Gi-Oh product I'd like to suggest as a maybe a good stocking filler as well is the new structure deck based around the um, Dark World stuff. Really cool deck to get your hands on, but any sort of structured deck is a great starting point. Like if you came up to me and said, right, I want to play Yu-Gi-Oh, I'll you know, throw a structured deck at you. I don't play Yu-Gi-Oh. And for the magic player in your life, there are so many bundles and sets and booster packs and all sorts that you can get them, especially if you know the kind of cards that they like or the decks that they play. Obviously you can pick a set 
catered to them. But if you know someone who is just getting into magic or wants to start playing magic, there are a couple of things that Wizards of the Coast have designed specifically for beginners and new players. One of the things I got when I first started playing is a starter kit where I got two 60 card decks for like eight pounds. They were so good when I was learning to play. Yeah. And then I ended up taking them apart and using all of the cards for other things. But there's value in that, eight pounds. And they also came with codes for Arena, which is the online thing to play Magic on. And that's what put you, you and, went there, didn't you, straight yeah, away? Yeah, and I put the codes in and I got both of those decks in Arena that I yeah. could then play. And that and really helped me to You learn playing well. on that site, you end up becoming the judge when I started playing because you knew a lot of the rulings because of that, that site. They also have just released something called Jumpstart, which we haven't managed to get our hands on yet but I think that is basically designed to teach you how to play and to clarify some of the new mechanics new that mechanics. have come in. You get two packs, you put them together, shuffle them up and then you've got a deck ready to play somebody. The last thing I want to do with these these card games is I'm currently building a deck, the Sword Soul deck. If you know who's playing what, we've got a good mate who, who sells the singles. Kitsune Cards TCG. And on his page he has a lot of deals like buying things in multiples. Yeah, go check him out. 100% feedback, really reliable dude. Highly recommend and he has so much stuff. Accessories time. We have deck boxes. So these are Jen's magic deck boxes. Yeah. These are Ultimate Guard Return to Earth deck boxes. So they're eco-friendly and I love that. So I have my two main commander decks in these mm. and they're just so much better for actually like getting the deck out yeah. versus some of the other deck boxes yeah. that we've had. And because I double sleeve my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. They I get use, real fat. They get... <laughs> I previously would have to take two deck boxes around. And so I can get my whole deck in here instead of having two deck boxes or one of the bigger deck boxes that I'd have to like do that and juggle all of it. D&D, I love D&D. You're not really into it. I don't get it. A couple years ago, I got gifted these by my friend Dan for Christmas. They are spellbook cards. They have them for every class in D&D. It has every single spell that a bard can do on a card. I basically then went through, selected all the ones that my bard character had, and then I had them when we were playing at the side so that I could easily flip through them. Also, for D&D players and for Magic players and for lots of other game players, dice! Do you know what's annoying? Playing games and not having dice. To see who's going first, you roll dice. To have counters on, you use dice. It's just an essential, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I have a lot of dice. <laughs> DIY. Ba ba ba. If you have any sewing skills, you might want to make a dice bag for your friend who maybe has lots of dice but doesn't have something to put them in. They probably will have something to put them in, but probably. now they have something better to put them in. Exactly. And making something for somebody because you're on a budget, I feel like it's more a thoughtful gift. I made this a couple of years ago for myself and I just made it up as I went along, so it's not the best design thing ever, but it has compartments. So we've got another, another cool idea for DIY, something that you did in set pieces, you get These some art, art cards. cards. I collect them and I thought, hey, I'm gonna put them on display because they deserve to be looked at. And so I put all my favorite ones into a frame so you could just buy a frame, put all the nice art cards in there and wha-bam, you have an amazing piece of art to give your friends. Thoughtful gift for a magic player and you know, you've taken your time to do it and if you're on a budget, I think it's a great present. And you know, we've saved binder space. <laughs> yeah. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching our gift guide for game geeks. We hope it's given you some inspiration. We will link everything that we've mentioned down below. Support small businesses. Yeah, try your hardest to, to seek out local stores that sell these um, awesome games. I hope have a good Christmas. We've got some videos coming up. See you around. Happy December. Holiday season. Good things. <laughs>